Welcome to Double Tech. Today we'll be learning about how to insert an image into text. Okay, so basically that is what this video is about. But to make it more interesting, I have uh, included some other techniques and tricks in the video. Okay, so by the end of this video, this is what we'll be creating. Okay, so after creating this, you may have the knowledge on how to actually manipulate some of your images with the test and all those stuff. Okay, so please subscribe to this channel and like, comment, and hit the notification bell for content like this. Okay, so please and please subscribe so that it keeps me going. All right, so without talking much, let's just dive into the video. Okay. all right so this is my crawl draw interface and this is a test right so this is the test i'll be using as you can see it's a normal test i can type in anything i want and this is my image which is a png image all right if you are using your own image and you don't have it in a png format and you want to crop um, the image out from the background there is a video at the top which will help you actually do that okay so this is the image and this is a picture this is a normal picture of a city all right so let's just dive into it so before i start i want to actually make a background before i start okay so to do that i double click on this and i cap that now insert a color here so let me go to my interactive tool go to fountain fill and click on fountain fill come here elliptical fountain fill and now i want to select my color let me pick a color which i'll be doing with i, I want to use something like red yeah so that's like a gradient fill from darker red to a lighter red yeah so let me just this um, let me just drag this a bit far. all right so after that i'll take out the outline of my background right. yeah then this the color of the test i'll change it to white all right and also it's with no outline okay. so the, now the main thing of the day is how to input this into this All right so what you do is you click on your image you right click and you click on um, power clip inside so after that you now directly click on the shape or the test that you want to insert your image into so i want to insert my image into this test so I'll click directly on the test. Right. So as you can see, the image is in it. Okay. So after that, um, I want to manipulate the image a little. This is what I do. Maybe if I want to change the direction, I'll click here and I'll move it around. All right. So I have the option to also move the image inside when I'm manipulating. Okay, so if you are using um, a CorelDRAW 2022, you may have that option somewhere here. Yeah, but not beneath here. You may have it somewhere here. Okay. So let's just dive into it. So now I've dealt with how to insert an image into a test. That's as simple as it is. Okay. So now I'm coming to give you the extra tips on how to actually make it fun in your design okay so let's start so the first thing i'll do is i'll go into the test and click on the image i'll copy the image and i'll come out of that and paste the image over here after this i'll now i'll then send the image to the back all right so in front of the background that's sorry in front of the background that is the red one so after that 
I'll give uh, an outline. Okay, so let me give an outline that I can see. All right. So then I'll outline, give it white. You can see. So something like this, and you are good to go. But to make it more nicer, you can make the image blend with the test alongside. Okay. So this um, this image was cut on this edge. I don't like that. So I'll just make a transparent fill over here at this edge. Okay. So this space will be transparent. Then after that, now if if you were in um, Photoshop for that we will call it masking. But well, here is coral drawing, mostly we deal with vectors. So what you do is um I want this um, let me see. I want this side, this side, to behave as if it's passing through the E, which is here, and then coming out from this place. So what I'll do is, I'll grab my pen tool, okay? I'll click here, 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 and here, here. After doing that. I'll then click on after doing that I'll then click on the spider-man there's the one so click on this and also click on spider-man which is here and I'll come here intersect right. so I'll generate an intersection from that after generating that intersection from that I'll now click on the intersection part the part that has been intersected then i'll turn it to front all right so you have something like this it moves in and comes out that yeah you can do the same thing for here this side okay so we are moving in with this side so you grab your pen to here 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 and here then after that you just click here and here you delete and make sure you click on the intersected part then you bring it to the front simple like that so after doing this and you feel like oh i feel like adding a shadow to it you can just go into your image and do the, um, your test and do that okay so some of you may have a problem when you want to go into it but as you can see i wanted to go into it and i had a problem like this yeah a problem of typing like because it's a test i don't want to type so if i click on it i have the options down here and i'll select this edit power clip then I will now click on this one, add a shadow to it. Okay, so let's just add a shadow to it. Yeah, so basically that's how it's done. I hope you've learned something today and hope you apply to your designs. Okay, so as you can see, I have that and we are almost done. okay so the next thing is i want to put this in the background all right this i have already changed so what you do is you click on your image i want the image to blend with the background so what you do is you click on the image then you click on this part which is the transparency side then multiply um sorry you click at the top here and go to multiply all right now let me just move my image over right and drag as big as i want now if you could remember um, to insert an image to uh, a shape 
you need to do a power clip of it so what you need to do is just click here and click on power clip inside and you hit here and basically that's what i did to get here All right hope you've learned something from this video and also please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this okay so I'll see you guys next time. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section below and I will address that. See you guys in another video.